this is Praxis and things are going well today. I was able to finish up burning the easier hole, which is right behind you. There's a uh, cardboard uh, sauna tube in it right now. It's not filled with concrete, but it's just sort of positioned there. Uh, and this, uh, this you know, difficult one, it's getting there. Uh, I'm almost all the way down through the wood. Uh, there's a rock right next to the root. It's kind of burning out everything up next to the rock. I think between today and maybe tomorrow, that one over there should be done. What I'm working on right now is the, the last hole that I had yet to dig, which is this one here. I got it dug down. There was one small root. It was a tiny one like that, just about, I don't know, not even two inches in diameter. I got that one just chopped out with a, a hatchet and, uh, and already started working on this guy here. I've got a footing of concrete in there with uh, one railroad screw uh, drilled down into the rock. I was fortunate there was a, a, a sheet of rock at the bottom, so that's going to make a really nice attachment for the bottom. Uh, it's uh, clearing really close to this boulder here, but it's just making the clearance. I want to have a little padding so this thing can kind of move and shift. I don't want this thing kind of shifting and cracking my uh, column in half, but um, you know, the best I can do is give it some space and you know, cross my fingers on that, I think. Although that said, I probably could have drilled some holes through it and knocked out a corner of it a few inches. Although I would have wanted to have done that before I poured the wet concrete down there. So I probably won't, probably won't do that. But that would have been a good idea. <laughs> to, I, I could have used my, my rock drill, made a few holes through it, and then just smashed it out with a sledgehammer. Or even just hit it with a sledgehammer. Anyway, what I want to talk about in this video, it's a, it's a minor thing, but it makes it a lot easier to open up a bag of concrete. Uh, I've got this bag right here. It's a 60-pound bag. Oftentimes, when the bags sit for a while, they get kind of hard. Like, they keep their form. It almost feels like it's a rock right on the top. One easy way to kind of uh, get into these guys is just take a little hammer or something and just kind of mush up that, that top layer. That makes it a lot easier to uh, get in there. I take a little trowel, you could use a knife or anything sharp, and I just make some holes in the top here, kind of perforate it like that. And then lift it up. Oh, I've been doing so much lifting lately. Okay. And then just let it dump in. But if you don't break up that, that chunk at the top, not only does it make it hard to get the trowel in to kind of cut the thing open, but it also can act like a plug. And you can stand here and the thing won't, uh, won't empty into the bin. So that's kind of a handy little thing that you can do to try to make your life a little easier. So I, I haven't really done footings on any of the other ones. I've just kind of put the thing in and sometimes I've let a little bit ooze out the sides. Uh, I did a footing on this one just because um, why did I do a footing on this one? I think it, I, you know, I honestly don't know. Half of the things I do, I don't really know exactly why I do them. Uh, oh, you know, it, it, I wanted to get a nice grip on that rock down there. Um, I think that was kind of my thinking. You know, it kind of, you know, maybe it doesn't even matter if I did it, but I did it. Uh, you know, it has a nice, uh, nice uh, grip down there. I think, you know, I was, I'm, I'm nervous about this big boulder. It's a lovely boulder. I'm a little nervous about it being so close. So I already got my water ready to go. It seems like for a 60 pound bag it takes about two gallons of water or so. I just pour it in a little at a time. Earring on putting in uh, too little because you can always add more. You can't take away water. Of course I can always add more cement but then you end up sometimes making more cement than you need. So it's good to add the water kind of slowly. Uh, and that's it for today. I'm just I think I'm gonna finish I'm gonna finish these two columns and then it's just up to that one right there. And, uh, yeah, I think a few more days and I'm going to start actual carpentry work, which is really what I prefer. I mean, I know, shocker, I don't, I, it's not the most fun thing in the world, world shoveling, uh, shoveling concrete. That's it. You know, I'm sure you're not that excited to see the rest. <laughs> Thanks for watching.